All right, Annalise, thank you. Also, right now, it's deadline day for so many residents of the Heron Pond Apartments that's in Pembroke Pines. Residents have to be moved out by the end of the day after the buildings were deemed unsafe. So let's send it over to Local 10's Larry Livingston. And I know you're live at the complex this midday with reaction. Everybody moved out. Have, has everybody complied? I would say people are trying to. We came into the parking lot. It was somewhat vacant, but we saw a number of moving trucks like that one there downstairs. We saw a number of U-Haul vans parked out front. So today, unfortunately, inconveniently, some would argue inconsiderately, but necessarily is move out day. You can see the unsafe notices that have been tagged here since January of 2023 in some cases. That's kind of what brought all of this into focus, these balconies being deemed unsafe, but they're still posted on the door. And as you can see here, the building shall be vacated by August 29th. That is today, according to city officials. Now, we actually were able to speak with, and we'll wipe our paws, as the mat says, the woman who was renting out this unit, you can see, She's got everything boxed up. Her moving truck actually just came back from unloading, but it's not just her, but her nine-year-old daughter, she says, used to sleep in this room. And her daughter right now is way up in New York with her mother because she did not know if she would have a place to stay. And now she's waiting to get her daughter back down to South Florida so that she can actually get her in school. Precious, the English bulldog, she may give us a bark here. She's trying to figure out what's going on as well. She's going to have to move out of her home. This is the balcony, one of them that has been under question since all of this started, but this is the culmination of a year's worth of reporting on this community. Local 10 was here a year ago this month talking about the cracks in the walls of the buildings here at the Heron Ponds condominiums. Steel supports at that time had been installed to shore up the balconies. Those balconies again had been flagged by the city officials in January of 2023 and last August, six buildings here in the complex were deemed unsafe. And last month, late last month, that unsafe designation was extended to all 19 of the buildings here in the complex. And city building officials, again, posted notices on the doors, basically saying everybody had to be out of here by August the 29th. Now, here's the real upsetting part about all of this. We talked to the woman again who was renting this two bedroom, two bath for $2,100 a month. She says she just moved in here in June and then got these notices in July. And now she's fighting, has to solicit help from legal aid to get her deposit back. She says she paid a month's security last month, put down another month as a deposit, and now she's trying to get all that money back along with moving herself, her daughter, her dog into a new place. Thankfully, she says the city kind of helped put her into a place. Hopefully they'll be there temporarily and hopefully she'll be able to recoup some of the money that she's lost after moving into this place just a month before she was told to leave. We also, according to those notices, have learned that they expect to shut power and water to these buildings after today. Not sure how soon that will happen, but more than likely you won't even have access to these, these, these buildings, these apartments after today. So this has just been a mess, but hopefully the people that we're seeing moving out, moving to other places will get the help that they need and get kind of settled where they need to be. For now, we're live here in Pembroke Pines, Laren Livingston, Local 10 News. Okay.